Hi everyone, Jess here, and today I'm joined with Mauro Oretti, Head of Operations at Sky Team. Thank you for joining me today. Good afternoon and good to be here. Fantastic. So just getting straight into it, how does the Sustainable Flight Challenge drive innovation around operational efficiency with regards to sustainability? Uh, so it drives innovation by uh, competing, it, of course it's a friendly competition, on several categories. This year we have uh, we have seven, lowest CO2 emissions, greater CO2 reduction, lowest CO2 emissions in the ground operations, best in flight waste, man waste management. These are the flight, we call them flight impact categories, categories. And then we have uh, other areas like best innovation, best adoption. Adoption this year is important because we don't want this to be a whimsical exercise, but we want the things that were adopted, that were uh, created last year to be at least in part adopted this year and best collaboration. So we have seven macro categories and underneath there are 24 uh, other micro areas. Um, and so by competing on these categories, the uh, innovation is driven. The second element is that all, all the innovations are, are captured and documented in an innovation technology platform operated by Planbox. Uh, where airlines, where first of all, we can capture all these innovations and we can create small communities of people around uh, those areas. For example, the area of eco-piloting. If there is uh, a certain uh, uh, important uh, uh, suggestion or idea or innovation in the, in, on, in, in the flight path optimization, around this idea, the pile of pilots of people anyway interested in piloting of all the Sky Team Airlines can collaborate and, and discuss it in, on this innovation platform. Fantastic. And um, so you mentioned this year was bigger than the previous year. Obviously, collaboration and cooperation is going to play a huge role in reducing emissions um, globally. But what challenges arise from extending these sort of initiatives across multiple industry players? Um, so what I see, I see two challenges. One is the challenge of complexity, because like, as I said, this year we have more airlines, more categories and more flights. And, um, and, and this increases the number of players, increases the number of interactions and complex and adds complexity. Complexity is in itself a big uh, <laughs> a big generator of entropy and so multiple players sometimes with diverging interests or anyway maybe not interests but diverging business models diverging uh, strategies uh, that complexity is uh, is there and so if you want to if you so that that's a challenge in itself. We need to be careful in how we manage it. The second one is what I would call the competitive element because uh, we cooperate and compete at the same time. However, and we do this with an open source kind of approach. However, when we uh, are um, doing this together, we are subject to competition law. Competition law, and you know, we tend to look at sustainability a little bit like safety, like airlines don't compete on safety, but they do kind of compete on sustainability somewhat, because even though the intention is not to compete, sustainability can still be a competitive differentiator, and as such, competition law regards the sustainability as an area where you need to respect the competition law. Uh, guidelines and uh, and norms. So these two elements are the ones that I would say are making uh, the challenge challenging, if you pardon my uh, pun here. Fantastic. Thank you for elaborating on that, that I can I can see that could present a difficult um, situation to navigate at times. And you mentioned at the start um, you were speaking about story and narrative. How do initiatives like these help to 
define the narrative or reshape it? Well, uh, last year we didn't really communicate about it. We be, it was the first year, so um, we were cautious, and uh, we 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 were we were very cautious. In fact, I don't think there is a specific way in which they change the narrative. But the the key message that we want to convey here is: a, we are not talking about it, but we are doing something. B, we are not claiming anything, we are not bragging about anything, we have not solved anything, but we have brought together uh, 22 airlines and uh, we have brought together 22 airlines to compete, which means to, to actually work on and to share knowledge on 24 cat categories, 24 areas. Um, and this is uh, bringing very tangible results. So these tangible results can then be taken by each individual airline, adopted, and this should, in the hopefully, in the best uh, possible uh, way, uh, should uh, foster improvements in the end in the CO2 emission uh, uh, sphere. You know, we should be able to to emit less CO2. Fantastic. So it's a it's an area producing these innovative ideas that can then be translated back into the, the wider industry. It has to, it has to, it has to. And our idea is really to have as much as possible an open approach, open source approach involving as many players as possible. Fantastic. So uh, changing the topic a little bit then, what are you most looking forward to at this year's World Aviation Festival? Um, several several areas. Um, if we look at uh, um, if we look at digital, for example, which remains for a very very important uh, focus area for SkyTeam, perhaps the, the most important, together with sustainability. The uh, I'm looking forward to see what kind of progress is there in uh, real adoption of NDC in uh, what is happening with one order, uh, what is happening with, uh, uh, you know, the journey towards retailing. You know, we have been talking about this for a few years. Uh, are they now some really concrete exam, not proof of concepts, not feasibility study, but really implementations at airline level of these kind of things. Um, I would, I'm personally interested in seeing whether there are, again, real use cases on blockchain in the areas of loyalty or perhaps in other areas. Again, we've been talking about this for a number of years, but it's difficult for me still to understand whether we are moving from the proof of concepts to the actual industry-wide adoption. Innovation in general. Uh, there are lots of things happening, maybe micro things, but they are, if you take them all together, it's a game of incremental changes, incremental improvements. It's really interesting to, to look at those. And um, in sustainability, I would like to, to hear much more about waste management because it's a very important area uh, where uh, a lot of things are, are happening as well. And... Uh, there are things that we can do in spite of the restrictions that are happening. I think this is one area we, that we can do. Of course, SAF, of course, non-CO2 emissions, so the so-called NOx, um, which is still very much uh, an area of experimentations and learning. So these are the things that I would uh, consider my priorities. Fantastic. Well, there'll be lots to look forward to at the event then. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Jessica. It was a pleasure.